Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. We are back in the modern district. You know, while the nether itself has been unimproved, this portal at least has been improved. That building over there, eh, we'll get back to it later, once we have more glass. But you know what, actually, we have some sand we can make into glass, that's a good start. Also, we have some sort of mail building here, which I guess is, you know, a public service, it's, you know. Maybe it could have been more gender neutral, but that's that's fine. It's still a building. Oh wait, do we have do we have post boxes? For some reason, I assume that this do they light up when they have contents? Where's my post box? Does it have contents? It has a light on. Oh no, my my inventory's full though. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna take. My full inventory full of stuff. This episode was going to be about me going to empty my inventory. Because part of the problem with being a nomad is I've got to get stuff where it needs to go. And right now, I'm just carrying it all in my hands. As though my fingers did not, like, need to smell like fish. But th I really wanted them to anyway. So, hey. You want a fish? I don't think I can feed other people's cats fish. I do like this shops sign. You know, lets us know what's going on. Anyway. We have a shop that is a work in progress. I haven't done a video about it yet because it's really not going to have its debut formally until October. I am building a Halloween store because we're going to have a little bit of a Halloween land on uh, this season of Hermitcraft. As you know, we have several theme districts that are already announced. One of them that we're going to have coming out soon in October will be a place where you can build cool Halloween stuff. Now, what I'm realizing is, though... That, like, if everybody needs to build cool Halloween stuff, then we should have a place that sells cool Halloween stuff. It's not finished. It's it's a start. I've gotten started on this store, but, you know, I have a whole month until Halloween actually occurs. So, as you can see, future home of Batcho Hills' Halloween store. And let's uh, go ahead and pick up these blocks and close the door behind us. Did I lose one? Dang it. Okay. There we go. So... Like all good Halloween stores, I want to have a sign here that says, Welcome, please read all notices. Now, these uh, display windows here are actually going to be, like, encasing, like, Halloween costumes and stuff like that. So, anyway, core concept, you can see this when you come in. These walls would be black. You'd have a black ceiling. Be very spooky. You're like, ooh, I want to come in. Ah! And then you fall. And then you emerge. And there will be various haunted scenes throughout here. Different uh, places would sell different things. You know, we might sell Halloween costumes. We might sell things like spider webs or materials that are particularly Halloween themed. Man, I'm realizing I've got a lot more sand in here than I realized. Okay, maybe that trip to the sand place was a little bit wasteful. But, you know, what's the point of a wasteland if you can't waste time on it? Okay, so core concept, we're going to grab some acacia logs here. We're going to make some more chests. I figure, though, we want to have our Halloween best shop, you know, going on. So we're just going to dump everything out that I have in my inventory that's not immediately a usable weapon. Bow, I don't even, like, I want to sell dyes. I want to sell, um, I don't know, iron grates, tinted, t different types of tinted glass that are spooky colors. But... Core concept, you emerge from down there, or, yeah, you emerge from down here, where you've fallen in the water, and as you ascend, there's all these different platforms that sell different stuff with different displays and different setups, and you kind of get to see a, a kind of vertical space with a Halloween flare, and maybe you'll find something you want to buy there. I don't know. I'm not a professional vendor. Oh, man, apparently I, I put my shulker box here and forgot about it. Remind me not to forget about it later. Because I'm going to leave it there for now, just in case that mailbox is booby-trapped. Also, I'm going to need a real exit to here. I'm guessing the reason that that sand is there is because I kept falling down when I would try to leave through the front door. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that with sandstone, at least, for right now. And in the long term... We'll get a real exit. This is the loading zone. Don't park your trucks here. Okay. Anyway, I'm Joe Hills with sand in my hand, running across this shopping land. This whole area was totally planned for the benefit of hermits far and wide. I wonder what is 
down inside this wishing well. Has anybody wished for anything? It's been a while. All the very best to my Mixer community. Hey, I bet that was Tango Tech or Impulse. Also, this rail probably fell in here because somebody poured water on it again. Okay, well, at least one person used my shop. That makes me feel really good. Or at least one person used my shop in a way that they felt like giving back. Just ask him to put in wheat that says I want a pony, because he didn't understand the concept of the well, apparently. So, just ask him, throw money in the well. It's, it's what you do. Throw money in the well. Or wishes. This is not... I'm so brainwashed to think that all economies need to be currency-driven that I cannot even express the core concept of my own shop. This is the sort of mental whirlpool I'm trying to help us all break out of. And I'm failing at it myself. You know, we just need to accept that we all have our limitations. But you know what? Our friends help us overcome those limitations. So thank you, Tango and or Impulse and or Jassassin, for swinging by here and showing me that my limitations have not been completely overcome. But while we're on the subject of leaning on our friends to... Ooh, that's his modern. I like this. I was thinking that the sign was to let us know where, where the shops were. Boy, it, it actually is a sign that lets us know where the border is. That is a m very interesting distinction. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, our friends have good ideas and can help us even when they have bad ideas to learn more about ourselves. So I want to go to this modern district here and check out the mail and see what ideas these messages may yet provoke. Jassassin left the game. Jassassin left the game. I'm going to my mailbox, even though I'm in pain that Jassassin is all gone. Jassassin is all gone. Oh no, it's almost nighttime soon. Let's maybe change night to day. Why is somebody building a Death Star over there? Oh, it's not a Death Star. Because Death Stars don't have like a fork sticking out. What is that? Okay. Core concept. We'll come back to it after we don't die. Time skip. I have retrieved the sun from behind the horizon, and I proceed once more into this small post office house. Is this anything in particular here? Sorry, I get really easily distracted by the smallest things. I wish I had ender pearls, because I don't want to break any blocks, but okay. Here's the box, it really rocks. I hope it's not full of smelly socks. I hope the messages are on time like clocks. Mailbox! Lol, you've been jingled no mail. Okay. That hurt. And it hurts on two levels. One, because I was super pumped about this mail thing. I was, I was excited. I was like... You know, because sometimes things just sneak up on me. Today, I went to the Pokemon World International, like, competition, because it was in Nashville. And my friend called me up, and he was like, hey, you want to go to this? I'm like, awesome. Do we need badges? And he's like, not for some of the things. So we just went. And it was an amazing time. And it was great. And and with this, I, this was not like that. This, I was expecting something. I was like, here is something cool I can do. And I can't wait. And then I got there. And it told me I had been jingled. What really bothers me about being told I was jingled is that I can't figure out if that's a play on somebody else's name. So now I know that I have to go through here and make sure, like, I'm like, because there's something about that. That sounds like somebody saying, you've been biffed or you've been grand. You've been good times with scarred. You've been cub fanned. You've been Doc m 77. You have false symmetried or been I jevened. You have been Iscalid 85, Impulse SV, or Mumbo, or Assassined. Dang it, these don't all rhyme. Python and Rendog and Stress Monster Tango, ZF and Tinfoil, Shelfels like Cleo, and then XB Crafted, Blank Blank, or Bleepo, Issum Avoid. None of these names sound like Jingle. So let's work backward. Jingle is a word that appears in the film Jingle All the Way's title. 
Jingle All the Way is a film about Arnold Schwarzenegger and this other guy that I discussed with Good Times with Scar. So maybe Good Times with Scar did this. Maybe. Okay, but let's work, let's think too. What else is Jingle? Jingle can be a song that like um, you sing like uh, the Double Mint Gum Jingle or something like that. And so who here likes to make little songs? Mm, I, d I don't know. I don't... Mm, I just... It feels like I should be able to solve this. Does anybody here on the server have a bell tower? Let's see, does anyone here pull a sled? Is anyone here a real deer? Anyway. Hmm. I, I don't know. Should I put this back so they don't realize that I've even seen it? I can keep their ruse alive? I do like that that lights up. Has everyone been jingled? Or just me? Who has not been jingled? That's going to be our best clue. Okay, so it's probably... Let's assume that the person didn't jingle themselves. Although, honestly, if this was my prank, I would have totally left one for me. But this is not my prank, because I've been busy at work all week. I've not had time to even name eight pieces of meat or 20 or whatever. So my box and Jassassin's box are both empty because we were both online just now. Other boxes that are empty are these two, which might belong to hermits that have yet to be named. What if they are babies that haven't been born yet, and so they don't have names? These two sides actually might correspond to two people who are going to join Hermitcraft 6 when they turn 18. Hermitcraft 6 will be the longest season of Hermitcraft ever. That might be a red herring. Okay, let's keep thinking. Okay, so let's assume it's not an unborn child with no name yet. I feel like I should write that down. Let's see, did Asuma get one? Asuma was not jingled, but he has real mail. It might be that you only got jingled if you had no, if you had an empty box in the first place, right? So, because the person who did it wouldn't want to, like, delete Asuma's important mail. That would be bad. Okay, so it Isuma's still possibly in the run-in, but he has a plausible reason for not getting jingled. Well, I've been speaking to my network of spies out and about in the YouTube viewer land, all these YouTubers watching these videos, and they're telling me Wells Knight and Python were also jingled. And so they're pretty sure it wasn't them. So XB Crafted is still a maybe. Isuma is still an unknown, but it's also come to my attention that there is a parrot named Jingle who works for Concorp. If we can take this meat to this parrot and confirm that they know each other, that there's been a previous meeting between the two of them, we might be able to flesh out the secret of this. So, why don't we head to the Concorp shop in the conveniently labeled shopping district and see what we can learn. What is knowledge if it's unearned? You know, we walked around, we found some clues, we spoke to some folks, and we got some news of happenings and happen twos of daring dids and daring do's. And the sun is going down again. We had better make this quick, my friends. I want this episode to end before I'm attacked and people's stuff is destroyed. Oh, hey, this is a really creepy shop. Diorama Rama, I love it. Oh no, my computer's getting really loud. I think it's going to overheat soon. Um, that normally doesn't happen. So, let's make a quick run. Okay. Is this Concorp? Concorp presents a sad coral, a sad coral shop. Okay, so, up only. Well, that doesn't take us higher. How do we get to the offices? I heard there are offices on top of the coral shop. Oh man, we're gonna get mobbed by monsters and it's gonna be bad. This area, this shopping district is not safe. Um, oh no, I'm gonna eat those. I can't eat the only clue. I didn't find Jingle the Parrot here in the Concorp Sad Carl Carl shop, but I did find a bed and hopefully I can rest in it without getting people's shops creepered because it's super dangerous. You know, I think that it might be wise for us to head to the industrial district and there might be some sort of high-rise where they've got a office suite set up there. 
uh, commercial space that they have leased, and I think I will be pleased if I can unveil their plan. Whether it's from bird or man, whether wing will flap or beak will pick. I think I'm going to go up there and I'm going to say, what the heck? People take mail very seriously. Uh, I boxed myself into a corner with that one. Seriously. Time skip. I can hear you playing accordion. You know, if it was just somebody playing the accordion, it would be fine. But I also dropped my rhyme at the same time. And so while I might seem a bit of a fool, that is why I lost my cool. The one-two punch of rhyme so dropped with accordion tracks played on top it pushed me just a bit too far. So let's look for this Concorp place by Scar. Well, time skippers, I have wandered all around said industrial district and I have found no sign of Jingle the Parrot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to Cub Fan's base and look at his giant map wall. Maybe he's left some clues about the location of Concorp by, I don't know, directly mapping its location onto his wall. So anyway, we are going to head there now. Sorry, this is my impatient voice. It takes a lot to get me there, but I'm going to find this parrot. Very disappointed. That is... You don't mess with the mail system. You don't. You don't. It's not a prank. Mm -mm. Time skip. Welcome back to Cub Starter House, home of Cub's fancy map. And goodness gracious alive. This seems to be a parrot. Is this the parrot of which we have been seeking? Are you the parrot that I sought that I sought you were? It's a case of mistaken identity, I believe. Savvy? Well, okay. So we have found Captain Jack Sparrow, who sounds disappointingly like me doing a bad Captain Jack Sparrow impression. But, you know, that's, that's fine. Every other lead we've had in this case so far has been fine. So thank you, Captain Jack Sparrow, for appearing in our path. I think I will continue downward to the map. I think there's a bit of annoyance in my voice. This is not common. You know, those of you who have made the choice to watch my videos know it takes a lot to get under my skin. But you know what, Chingle? I tell you, you begin, you begin to raise my ire. If there was a small annoyance, you've stoked that fire and... <sighs> I refuse to be successfully pranked. Let's look at this map, and I'll be frank. If we can discover the convex location, I can pursue my chosen vocation of revenge, I suppose. Now that I say it aloud, I didn't think that's where we were, and I'm not proud to think about that. But yeah, okay. So looking at this map, it appears anyway that most of this is pretty out of date. But I've heard from intelligence sources far and wide that Impulse SV's base is nearly beside the secret location of the Convex Tower. So we can head there and be there within the hour, I suppose. We better be on our way. And away we go. Time skip. Ah, I went too high. Dang, we gotta jump off this. Also, time skip. I'm, re I'm really losing it, guys. <laughs> this has gone too far. This has gone too far. It's gone too far. I always tell my daughter, don't say things more than three times in a row because it's annoying and it makes it sound like you're insane. But it was really difficult for me to not say this has gone too far four times there. Really difficult. Okay, we're going to find it. Rhyme time with Joe. I go with the flow. To negative 697 I go. Intersected with negative 974? I would fly in the sky, but my feet are on the floor. I lack an elytra, and that is okay, because material possessions get in the way of spiritual fulfillment, or well, that's what I've heard. Although being deprived of the basics can hurt. Convex, can you hear me? Well, we seem to have found the Convex Lair as well as their Infinity Gauntlet, so if I had any doubts about their motivations, those have been quickly shed. Is this a new kind of door? 
Are these gold blocks? Did I come all this way and their door is made of gold? Is this a key mechanism? Does the jingle... Well, hold on. Maybe the jingle key opens the door, but maybe literally any item opens the door. No. Okay, well... What is it? Is this an observer block? I mean... I don't exactly have what you might call a warrant. But if there's an anvil nearby, I will forge one so quickly. Please be an anvil over here. Future home of Concorp. Well, then what is that? Is all of this Concorp? Okay. What wonderful gardens you've constructed to conceal your evil nature. Jingle the parrot. I am seeking you out. I am calling you out. I... Oh, you're apparently walling me out. Um, okay. So we have many terrace ledges and some shrubberies and hedges. We have trees that reach the sky and some waters that aren't wide, but... And that's how we fall to our deaths. Okay, cool. Good plan, every Joe Hills. Good plan. Let's continue to circumnavigate this until... If, if there is not a parrot in here named Jingles, I'm going back for that Captain Jack Sparrow. Because, you know, I don't know if you realize this, but Captain Jack Sparrow, the parrot in this game, is a reference to Captain Jack Sparrow, the master pirate from the film Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. And I'm beginning to wonder if that sneaky pirate might have been concealing something. Because he's either a very good or a very bad pirate, possibly. Okay, this is the first thing I've found that looks like a structure. Am I sliding? Is there ice under here? Everything about this place is unnatural. I'm pressing buttons. Oh! <gasps> Okay, I actually needed ender pearls. Can I do that again? Hey guys, thank you for, you know, handing me the seeds of your own destruction. This is Joe Hills, who can teleport now. Good move. Uh, actually, I'm probably going to kill myself with these ender pearls because I haven't done it in so long. But okay, so just thinking through all this, is that also... So do they not have any real structures in here? What? I don't know what the point of this is other than to throw ender pearls at me, which arguably is actually kind of nice, but it's still confusing and weird. Okay, now we're going to have to double click the bed because this whole sleep cycle thing is broken, but hopefully we can find something around here. Oh wait, there's a map. Maybe there's a clue on the map. Okay, so is there really no actual structure in here that's worth looking at? The more I think about it, the more I think that this gauntlet thing may be important. And so if I was going to hide an evil parrot named Jingles behind a golden door, then, I mean, like, it would be this golden door, right? Well, oops, their door broke. Somebody better go in there and fix it. It was me. I fixed it. Joe Hill's door fixer here. You need anything repaired? Hello? Anybody? Dang it. Okay. I'm beginning to suspect that this is not where they're hiding a parrot. Hmm. What does that thing do, though? It's so weird. Okay. Core concept. They have some sort of structure constructed but unmanned and unparroted. Wait, are these... Deluxe Tree Farm of Destiny? Hmm, no clues there. Jingles, can you hear me? Jingles, can you see me? Jingles, I am seeking you to death. 
We teleport now to the highest peak so that we can get a look and see down upon our enemies or those we suspect that they yet be. You know, it's possible that Jingles the Parrot is not... I don't... I don't... I... Everybody's just like, well, just tell us about Pokemon. It's like, no, that's, that's no time. <laughs> this, this was supposed to be the episode where I talked about my trip to the Pokemon International. And, and the, the World Tournament in Nashville. It was in the Pokemon there. And instead, there's this jingles that might or might not be a parrot who eludes me. He evades me, and he's driving me crazy, and I don't know what to do. So I'm thinking I need to think about this some more, and I might need you, the viewers, to think of any clues that you have assembled or jotted down or noted, and please share them with me in the comments below. It is crucial that I find a solution to this question, that I find some explanation, because this is causing me some great convexation, and I need my sanity, because why do people need their sanity again? Oh, man. I feel like I should know that one. Um, I was going somewhere with this. Until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> Next time on Hermitcraft, the sixth generation, I've heard rumors and I've heard tales along the ocean's foamy trails that Scar may have left a bird deep down here who may have word of secrets of Jingle Well. We'll send him straight to Jingle Shell? I don't know. There's probably a good rhyme with Jingle there. Or with bells. I don't... Dang it, there's no birds down here. Bad intel. Fix your processors. Jingle well, jingle well, jingle, I'll find you. I will seek you anywhere. I will find your crew. Jingle well, jingle well, Better watch your back Because you've angered Joe Hills And it's a federal crime to tamper with the mail Over the cakes and through the cave To Jingle's house I go Under the water through the kelp You cannot deter Joe I have faced Vetches himself and now I seek you out. You can't hide from me for long. Jingle, come on out. Will Joe Hills find himself face to face with Jingle the Bird? Will Jingle the Bird find himself face to face with a knife? Find out next time on Joe Hills Hermitcraft 6. Whatever the name of this season is, I should have written it down. Same Joe Hills time, same Joe Hills channel.